Today, I'd like to speak about a particular image, Ansel Adams's Moonrise Hernandez, New Mexico, a photograph that encompasses, encapsulates the best elements of fine art and storytelling. In 1941, the Secretary of the Interior invites Adams to create a mural-sized print for the federal building. He travels to New Mexico, where he's working in the Chama Valley, and it's an unsatisfying day. He's with his assistant, his son Michael, heading back to Santa Fe, looks out the window of the car, and he sees what he calls an inevitable photograph. What happens next is the stuff of legend, of history. He realizes, there's my picture. And he can't find his exposure meter. He jumps out of the car, gets the 8x10 view camera, is calculating in his head what the exposure is going to be, and where does he place the camera? On top of the car. Jumps on top of the car and shoots the image. He wanted to take a second negative, but the sun had already passed. When he first made the negative, he qualified that it was a photograph depicting twilight. Over time, after reprocessing the negative, we see that the scene actually appears to be shot at night. So this idea of how the photographer interprets the negative is very key and central to the art of photography. Since Adams had been trained as a musician, as a concert pianist, he once said that the negative is the musical composition and the print is the performance. Years later, Ansel is asked, when did you shoot this image? And he can't remember. So they approach a scientist at an observatory in Colorado who, from the position of the moon in this sky, determines that the photograph was made October 31st, 1941, at 4.05 in the afternoon. A few years later, a different scientist looks at this same scene and says, uh-uh, this photograph was made on November 1st, 1941, 4.03 p.m. And if we look at this image within a historical context, a bit more than a month later, the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor, and the U.S. entered the Second World War is also a kind of somatic association of this image. Part of the story of any photographic object is what we refer to as provenance. It begins with the Polaroid Corporation. Edwin Land developed the instant camera. So who does he consult to test Polaroid's film and camera products? But Ansel Adams. He gives this print to Edwin Land about 1950. Edwin Land is friends with another scientist in the Cambridge area whose name is Edward Mills Purcell. And Land and Purcell are involved in an advisory committee that President Eisenhower has organized to examine the possibility of lunar missions. In 1952, Purcell wins the Nobel Prize, and Land presents this print to Purcell. The photograph descends to his son, Dennis. Dennis Purcell had apprenticed with Ansel Adams. It influenced him as a young man to pursue photography in his own right. And this idea that photographic images have this power this personal power, this collective power. And when we understand that the etymology of photography means written with light, we have a sense of the profound spirituality of this image and how its story relates to the story of American history.